Hi everybody, thanks for joining me once again. Today we're going to be looking at how to pay less income tax. So the best way to make sure you're paying less income tax is to make sure you're claiming absolutely everything you can as a business expense. And once more, we're going to be coming across that term of allowable expenses. We've seen that pop up a few times in the videos that we've we've been going through so far. Another thing to think about is that if you are a sole trader or you are employed and you're creeping into those higher tax brackets, so you're paying the 40 or the 45% in a higher rate or additional rate, maybe it's time to consider opening up a limited company and trading through there because as a limited company, you'd be paying 19% corporation tax, which is significantly lower than 40 or 45%. It's not very nice. So I'm going to be taking you through how to calculate your income tax, but most importantly, the things you need to think about in order to make sure you're paying less income tax. So if you've been tracking your total income, maybe you're using a spreadsheet or whatever your method is for working out how much money is coming into, into yourself as an individual or into your business, you might have things like your sales income, your benefits, universal credit, if you're receiving that housing benefit, child tax credit, all of those state benefits might be included, but you don't include them when you're doing an income tax calculation. So you make sure you remove those types of state benefits and other allowable benefits out of your calculation. You're only looking at income that is taxable. So in this case, it'll be sales and bank interest. Add those up together and you get your total income. Then you're going to be looking at your expenses, which we've seen happen a few times uh, in the past few videos. So things like your direct costs, admin costs, bank charges, bills, electricity, things like that. Now, in most cases, when we're talking about allowable expenses for businesses, you won't see things like clothing, business suits, things like that are not allowed uh, as, a, as a business, not allowed to be included as a business expense in most cases. Where the exceptions are for this is if you provide a uniform, if you have a clothing that has your logo on it, perhaps anything that you need to wear in order to carry out your job. Uh, if you're a nurse and sometimes you have those nurses tunics, then that would be allowable. That's an allowable business expense. Or if you need to provide PPE to your staff members or you need to wear certain protective equipment or protective clothing in order to carry out your trade, that is also an allowable expense. So please make sure that you include those as well. Add up all of your expenses, Income minus expenses gives you your profit. Calculate your 20% on your profit, and that's either profit times 0.2, profit times 20%, or you can just do profit divided by 100 times 20 gives you 20%, whichever way you prefer to work out your profit, uh, your income tax, sorry. And then profit minus income tax, that's what you pay, and that gives you your leftover profit for you, for yourself, for your business, for whatever the case may be. Now, here, we're paying 1,500 quid in tax, but there's other allowable expenses that you may be eligible to take advantage of. And for most of you, those are going to be work from home allowances and mileage allowances. So mileage allowance is 45p for the first 10, per mile for the first 10,000 miles. 25p for each mile after that and if you we go for the basic rate and we take everything that we can in the first 10,000 miles that's 4,500 quid that's an allowable deduction uh, on your tax bill so definitely claim that work from home allowances the simple rate is uh four pounds per week four times 52 weeks about 208 quid approximately that's this simple claim if you have like a home office space and you want to do a more complex calculation maybe you'll be able to get get a bit more money out of it it would be based on the square footage of your home compared to the square footage of your office space or whatever the work space is that you're using in your home. And then you can apportion things like rent, bills, electricity, et cetera, then apply that to your office space or your work from home space and then calculate that as your work from home allowance as well. So if we do that and we say total income, minus total expenses, minus our allowable expenses as well, then our profit is only 3,000 quid and we're paying tax 600 pounds on that. So we've more than halved our tax bill. So these are the kind of things you want to think about and be aware of. Now, it does get a little bit confusing and there's a lot, a lot to know about what is allowable and what isn't allowable. So in the free guide that i am got on the website for you guys, please go and check it out. I'm going to have a lot more detail into what is um, taxable income that you need to be including, what are your allowable expenses? What are the most common benefits that you could be taking advantage of when you're calculating your income tax bill? So definitely please do go and check that out. 
that's it for today. We're keeping it short and sweet again. When I see you guys next time, we'll be looking at how to actually calculate and submit a self-assessment tax return. So if you think that's going to be helpful to you, please do remember to come back and check us out. You can stay on track with all of the videos that we're bringing out by liking, subscribing, following, commenting, and sharing the videos. Please, please do that. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time.